And welcome in to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Soccer Media Day. I'm Nick Vassos, voice of the Kansas City Conference of the Major Arena Soccer League, as well as morning anchor on Fox 4 uh, in Kansas City. Well, we are happy to have uh, two great folks here. Alex Nichols, the two-time uh, champion of Central Methodist University, as well as Basil Erne, coach and Basil. Welcome in. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Thank you very much. Uh, getting going with preseason. So we're certainly excited about everything to come. Yeah, you guys uh, are getting things going right now. And when you get done with preseason, boy, have you guys got a tough early part of the schedule. You guys are going to open up against uh, three NCAA Division I opponents, Memphis, Tulsa, Western Illinois. Wow. What an opening season. Yeah, it, it should be good. Um, you know, uh, that's just the type of competition that our guys want to play. We want to play the the best of the NAIA, the best of Division One, And so, you know, that's normally where you learn the most by playing the best of the leagues. And in, and in soccer, you know, no matter what league, you get the top 25 of any league and it's going to be it's going to be a very good game. So um, we're excited about it, but we have good players and, you know, good players and student athletes want to you know, be tested and play against the best. So that's what we tried to set up. Coach Nichols, this is a lot about your team. What does it mean to play those types of opponents and give your athletes an opportunity uh, to play in those games? Um, I mean, I think the coaches of those schools too, or I mean, it's just a, a means of any coach who's fortunate enough to, and coaching staff is fortunate enough to have a talented group of student athletes who are motivated guys and have high goals you know, that's just kind of par for the course of, you know, what those coaching staffs know their guys want. So while us coaches want to play, you know, high level teams, um, you know, it, it's more about our players and, and what their ambitions are and wants. And, you know, top tier players want to play top tier players. That's where you learn the most. And that's the games that mean the most. And, you know, um, you, know you learn the most from. So kind of it checks all boxes as far as what our guys are about and, and what we want. Uh, we have a, uh, we've got a, 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 tell people who are watching this right now, if they don't know that over the last four seasons, Central has posted a 91, six and two overall record. And that is the best in college soccer across all divisions. Uh, Coach, I mean, obviously you're very proud of that, but I'm just wondering if you could speak to that consistency and that success over the last four seasons. Yeah, I mean, it starts out, and it, it may sound kind of cliche, but it's just the reality that you don't do that four seasons in a row without good players. And so, um, and you have to have guys who are in sync. So, you know, you have a lot of talented guys like this right here. Um, and, you know, it's not just, you know, talent. That will only go so far. You have to have guys who are willing to sacrifice because they're having to do a lot of different things that they haven't done before, and they're having to adjust and adapt and, you know, be in sync with the style and be in sync with each other. And so it takes a lot of discipline. Um, it takes a lot of sacrifice um, and it takes a team first mentality. And we always tell our guys, you know, you got to go after your own self-interest and your own goals, but uh, don't let that affect what's most important for the team. Um, so I think that's always a, a good balance. And we've been fortunate enough to have guys who have found that balance and been, you know, humble enough to, you know, to adjust and, and adapt. And it's not always sunshine and rainbows, but, you know, we've got guys who are willing to, uh, to, to find the solutions. And so um, they have to deal with a lot from, from me and the coaching staff, but, um, um, but they're definitely up to it and they're willing to figure it out. And we've been lucky to have guys like this um, and, and all of our guys over the past four years. And, um, you know, we're, yeah, we're, we're excited to see this next group uh, continue that trend because we've got a lot of, more talent that's uh, come in and uh, talented guys who are team first guys and, you know, who are intrinsically motivated. And so we're, we're excited. Yeah. Well, well, let's talk about some of that talent. Let's talk about Basil Arne. What makes him such a valuable member of your team? Yeah, he came in um, um, last year and we were very excited to get him and, and he brings something that, you know, sometimes I fight against, um, but I, I fight against some of the, his, qualities because not everybody has the qualities that he has. And so um, I'm a very risk reward um, type of coach. And um, but when you have players like this, you're able to do a great deal more. And so he kind of uh, changed or allowed us to uh, make some changes, you know, for the better, um, because he's able to do some things that, you know, uh, a lot of people can't. So when you have guys that can do additional things, it allows 
hopefully allows coaching staffs to adapt their mindset and be able to progress to doing different things that maybe you haven't done before. So um, when you have a player that can get a coaching staff's mindset to adjust um, for the betterment of the program and for the team and allow you to do more, that says a lot. And we've got a lot of players who can do that, which makes us coaches job very fun. You know um, how great to have a lot of players that you can do more with. So not every coach has that, but we fortunately do. All right. Let's hear from the athlete right now. Basil, tell us uh, where are you from and how you found your way to CMU? So I'm from Switzerland um, and I played there like since I was six years old soccer. And then um, it was for me, it was between to go to work or try to study because I was playing a really high level at home. Um, and I had to, to figure out a way to continue my path with soccer and study besides that. So for me, the best option was to, uh, to go into the US. And then um, when Nichols came, uh, Coach Nichols came with his offer for CMU, um, and I saw the record and all the program around, and we like talked a lot over the, the first few months. I was like, yeah, that's, that's the, the destination I want to go and where I want to play. Uh, what, Basil, what's your major and um, what are your plans, say, post soccer? So my major is sports management and um, my plan or like one idea I have, which I will track down, hopefully, is um, to go into sports journalism. But I think back home because it's just easier for me because my own language is German. I mean, English is not my English is not worse, but it's just sometimes some words are missing. So I want to want to do a, or work as a sports journalist in my future. If I'm not making the, the the next step away from the college league, yeah. Well, when you get there, give me a call. I might be able to help you. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Basil, tell us tell us what position you play. And um, you know, we heard <laughs> coach we heard coach talk about you know maybe some of your individual goals. Let, 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 let's just hear from you. All right, tell us your position and what are some of the goals that you have for yourself this year. So. It's a little bit different. I can play multiple positions. Um, last year, I just played, I think, like one game as a left back and everything else I played as, at a six, so in the midfield. Um, I have to say, I already had a really good freshman year. Um, I was awarded some stuff and I had overall a good, a good year for myself personally. The only thing that like was not working as well was then the semifinal against Kaiser. Um, but besides that, I had a good freshman year, so I want to continue to play like this. The only thing where I can see to improve or like where I have to improve for sure is to get a little bit more score points because I can think if I can produce a little bit more, not goals particularly, but assets and stuff, um, I could bring or provide way more also to the team, which I do already. Yeah, so that's my, that's my goal and stuff I will work on for the next few weeks until I'm ready for the conference, which starts in September. Uh, Basil, I'm wondering, what does it feel like to put on that Eagles uniform and perform for your school uh, every game? Um, it feels like in the beginning, I was kind of nervous because everybody was talking about how, not particularly against the, against the opponents or because of that, also, also because like you're representing a school, not just a club. So if I do something wrong, not on the field, but there too, if I get a dumb record or something, um, it would reflect on the school side too, which is a little bit different than I was used to. Um, so kind of a little bit in the beginning of pressure, but in the end it was just pure joy because like we had a record in our conference from zero to, I don't know, 14 or something overall. And then we went to the opening rounds and it was just like pure fun in the end for me to, to put on the jersey and just play and be with my mind on the field and not, nothing else matters at that point if you put the uniform on. You're just here to play with your friends and guys on the field. Even, yeah, even sometimes there are tough times. I, I remember when we were back in the, against Mid America, the first game we got scored on, I think five or six games in conference. And then we were back until like, I don't know, 75 minutes in. And we just turned the game because we never gave up. It's stuff like this who makes, uh, makes the game fun and also to put on the CMU Eagles jersey. Yeah. Um... So, by the way, your English is very good, Basil. I think you're selling yourself short. You're very good with English. Thank you. It's, it's outstanding. Uh, Coach Nichols, let's go back to you. Uh, who do you have coming back this year? A lot of guys, um, which is good. We, you know, we lost some serious players, but we're also, you know, excited because we bring back a, a strong core. 
And so, um, you know, it's, and we bring back, uh, you know, we, we had three strong leaders um, in the spring with uh, Salvadego, with Jesse Bank and with uh, Basil. And so, um, but, you know, it, it extends beyond them. Obviously they're the three captains, but um, I mean, it, it's not just them who are coming back. We've got, everybody's got to lead in their own way. And so whether you're the captain, whether you're the head coach, it's, it's irrelevant. Everybody's got to be leaders and we've got a good core, strong core from a coaching staff perspective. And most importantly, from a returning player perspective, um, which is awesome. But, you know, the new guys are already, you know, asking questions and very, you know, ambitious to, to learn, um, which is, you know, which is awesome. And so, you know, we've got a lot of leaders and teachers out there on the field, which is what we need. Yeah, and that'll be important for the young players because you guys over the last few seasons have been battling out and out against teams like Missouri Valley, including the epic matchup uh, with you and Missouri Valley in 2018. What does it, you know, what does it say about your program, coaches and players and staff alike, playing teams like Mo Valley and how tough it is in the heart? Yeah, um, I mean, I think we're lucky with that. When I first took over, I was a little bit nervous, um, you know, just with the mindset of I always wanted to play the best schedules where I came from before I got here um, for those programs. But, uh, you know, the heart's considered, you know, the best in the NAI. And so with that being said, but then, you know, after I got into it, I quickly, you know, realized, well, this is exactly what, you know, you want because this tells you where you need to get and then some. So even with our non-conference -con schedule, we want to see the best teams because that shows us, you know, where we need to get to and above. And so nothing good comes from the games where a really good team is playing a really low team. You know, you don't learn near as much from, from those games. And so we're excited to be able to play those top ranked teams because anything we have say over, we want to play the best because that's how you learn the most and that's how you become the best. So we take it as a good thing and a fortunate thing. And I think every coach in our conference would, would say the same. It, it's definitely a good thing and it only – helps you when all things are said and done. Okay, uh, coaches, we wrap it up here. We are asking each of you coaches the same question here as we wrap up uh, our interviews with each school. And here it is. I want you to just tell me the first thing that comes to mind, coach. Uh, when you hear the Heart of America Athletic Conference, what comes to mind? Competitive. That would be my... If that's a one word answer, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to elaborate <laughs> but, uh, to, to give uh, to give an easy answer. Um, it's it's competitive. Well, Coach Nichols, Basel, thank both of you for your time today. We wish you the best of luck. It's going to be a really fun season to watch. So good luck to both you guys. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate your time.